to the mall, take the shit up. It's Madden NFL 23, and the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Buccaneers and the Boys on Thursday night primetime. We are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas and Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Running player too, but the way that these offenses are constructed, you can get that done. 
the swing pass isn't checked out. The way they're throwing it, I'll keep pressing it down the field. A first down throw for Prescott. Out right, he finds Tolbert. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. We've seen quite a bit of a short passing game here in the first quarter. We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. Shaquille Barrett put that sack by his name in the stat sheet. They've gobbled up over 30 yards of turf so far, but a sack knocks them backwards. And that interrupts the momentum they were building. Good opportunity for the defense to escape this drive before they get to the end zone. After the sack, it's third and long. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And this is going to be incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And this one will not get the team to the left anyway. It's no good, and this will remain a scoreless game. Partner doesn't seem like it, but that's a tough spot for a kicker. First drive of the game, and they're calling on him. He should be warmed up. He should be into the game, but sometimes... It's almost like, oh, what, now already? Can't they put it in the end zone? What's going on here? Yeah, he's probably saying if he can't get it in the end zone, can you give me a 30, 40-yarder? <laughs> a long one, and he can't connect. Now they're set up nicely at the 45-yard line after the missed field goal from 55. Brady now on first down. And his throw is incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They'll set up to throw on the screen, Bernard. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially as pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. Down into the end 
inside the 20. 22 yards there, first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Into the red zone, it's Brady. And Brady, the tight end's got it. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Nice run the throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. But he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second down at five. Brady. Got a man and he hits him in stride. Touchdown. Kyle Rudolph. An 11 yard touchdown. And the Bucs put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. The big fellow was the recipient there for that touchdown pass, and it seems like more and more the tight end is the guy you have to worry about most in the passing game. Ryan suck ball for the point after. And that one gives the Bucks a 7 to nothing lead. A drive that time of six plays. And it ends with a touchdown for the Bucks. ready for the kickoff and here we go it's in the air from the six and no hell of a foul to cover the center and he's dropped at the 18. second drive forthcoming here for the dallas cowboys and the way their last drive ended boy it was frustrating they had a pretty good drive going it was sustained and then it stalled out charles and they missed the field goal and got nothing out of it is that insult to injury because they had such a sustained drive as you noted so you know for the head coach it almost felt like a little bit of failure to send out the field goal unit and then to not even see the ball go through the post what a bummer on that last drive for them got to pick themselves up from that one Prescott, he's got to complete to Tolbert. And I think this is a role we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on draft routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run out for the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. Prescott off play action. And they work this well upfield across the 35. 23 yards to pick up there. Second and short, that's a run down. So it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so to pick up the first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. He's going to find Gallup here complete. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. As long as you go through the track, reads and progressions, the track route can be one of those very reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage, as we just said there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage, because man coverage, they're typically running away from someone and not worried about traffic coming out on the other end. He finds his man complete. Next for the Seven. 
good on first and ten. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And tough sledding. saw there that's why they're up right now and the defense they're doing their job yeah it starts with the guys up front so when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team a lot of them say we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage you control the rest of the ball game and that's what we're seeing here they're actually playing in the offense's backfield not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage that loss of three a rare stumble on a promising drive here's second and 13 to throw is Prescott Able to hit his target lane. And he's going to be marked down just outside the team. When we say the sky is the winner for CD Lamb coming into his third season, it's not hyperbole. 1,102 yards in his first Pro Bowl nod last season. He's now the unquestioned WR1 for Dallas following the Amari Cooper deal. They get it to him there for a first down. First and 10 at the 11. Prescott to throw it. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. Touchdown, Cowboys! side just score but remember last time they were out they scored as well we'll see if they can seize that momentum right back and they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time so have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game even though they haven't been on the field and you and i both know one big play though gets them right back up to that level on first down, gets him a couple up to the 27. Then he just struck back for the touchdown, right? It's a very good game. The main goal, get a couple of first downs. You run some plays, run some clock. A lot of defense get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. They'll break the huddle. Come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. They'll run it again with four down. And they 
get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 yards as Tampa Bay picks up the first. I don't know what this says about me, but I love successful runs up the middle when the blocking is so well executed like that. And it doesn't matter whether it's zone blocking, whether it's a power scheme, when you have a blocker on a defender and then the running back can read it, find the proper hole and just go, sometimes a thing of beauty. So a good run by Fournette. Now another first and 10. Brady now to throw. And he completes this to Russell Gage. And that's good for a gain of six. And it's second down. Fakes the give to Fournette. Now Brady. It's caught by Mike Evans. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 33. 7-7, our score after one. Second quarter now, and it's Buccaneer football. As they've got it with a first and ten. to the 22, so they began to play at the 11, and it's a gain of 11, first down. First down. Well, they obviously read man coverage there, partner, and he got down the field, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Broke yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route, probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and then he curls back inside for the completion. the football right whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it comes together with the legs in this case the feet did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch got a great job by our crew on the camera shot love when you see the grass or on the field turf there's rubber pellets flying up great catch he had the touchdown earlier this one's gonna go the first down well he does have one touchdown in the game already and while this one won't go for six it's enough to get him first and goal, but you and I both know he's going to be a little upset he didn't cross the goal line for a second time in this one. Might want the ball here on the next play. On first and ten, here's Brady. Quick hitter here, it's complete. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. He's not going to hit right really helps how the guy can turn it loose. And <laughs> Brady right where he in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Second and goal from inside the five. Again, it's Brady. And did he get the feet down? No, he said he did not. It's Sustained variety, play after play, and they just can't get off the field and stop them, that can be demoralizing. Mm. 
second for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. A 10-play drive that time. And it's Chris Godwin who finishes things off with a touchdown reception.
Packers feet in bounds. That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. After review of the play, ruling on the field is reversed. Two for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. And hold on here because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who is shaking up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Just 
just had a good up CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback made a fall as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Extra point point. had to stand on the sideline watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now, they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Play action. Now it's Brady. And this one hold in by Rudolph. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Ran the perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion. Would have picked it up. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see a point in communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. And they're making a nice play. extra shot of courage on that one because normally on third and short you're just trying to move the sticks to get the ball just past that line of scrimmage instead they take the big shot downfield and it pays off plenty of shots from this crowd as they watch the replay they want a challenge and they're going to get one the previous play is under review did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Now here's the call. Here's a 
Second and two now from the 33. Prescott on play action. And this will be incomplete. Great coverage there all around. Really don't have any options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. The Cowboys on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. Here it's third and two to throw his press guy. He finds his target. It's Schultz. And this is only going to be a gain of two. He needed three. It's fourth and one. Well, it wasn't a big strike, but that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now? Fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here? You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. On fourth down, here's Brian Anger now to kick this one away. It's taken on the 25. And that'll be a return of 12, following a very nice punt. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with a slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. They'll start out on the ground. It's Leonard Ford. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. <laughs> 38 yard line, second and nine. To throw is Brady. And complete, right side, the tight end Rudolph. Call it a game of six one. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, 
the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Throwing on first down is Brady. And Jones has it over the middle. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. The Bucks forced to use their third and final time as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Play fake, Brady. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Brady to throw again. Touchdown! Tom Brady is the third touchdown pass in this first half. And the Bucs have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. So that really an almost perfect drive as they chew up some clock and wind up scoring in this first half. And remember, they've got a chance to double dip here because they're going to get the ball first to start the third quarter. So they potentially could go up two scores before the other guys get a chance to do anything. Extra point try now for Sucker. It's up and good, and that'll but make the score 21-14. the score, Buccaneers. So now on a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's Mike Evans who caps it with a touchdown reception. seconds all that remain here this first half as the kick gets away taken in at the three so we have reached halftime here with the visiting Buccaneers out on top as we'll get you over to Orlando where standing by is Jonathan Coachman he has our EA Sports halftime report okay Brandon thanks very much and welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios and this EA Sports Halftime Report. First up, though, let's take a look at the next-gen stats from the first half for the Bucks, And they've had all sorts of success thus far tonight throwing the football as they're on pace to throw for 300-plus yards as they continue the way they've been going. Meanwhile, for the Cowboys, they, too, were able to take advantage of a soft secondary as both of these two teams really threw the ball at will in that first half. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. This offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles. Remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They've reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went to the tunnel with a the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to let the 
they saw in that first half. Brady now on first down. And break, the tight end's got it. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. I know sometimes we can get fooled over watching make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver runs with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll show the defense. 10 yards there. Buccaneer first down. Well, most of the damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've run the bell three times with passing touchdowns. But guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Brady. Dumps it off to Florida. And he's going to lose yardage here. Well, despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there in second down. Well, they try to swing it on left into the flat. Complete, but really nice open field tackle. And they put that one like a great boxer. They were on their toes on that one. They weren't back on their heels reacting to the play. No, they saw it, came right for it, and made a nice tackle for lost yardage. Behind the chain, second and 13. Here's Bernard. Able to slither by. So from second and long, now we get the third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because it's all the time. Now Brady. And that will be incomplete. That's not surprising to face the corner. That is a rare completion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion wise way up. Not that time. Here comes the ball to Harris Pomerville. As he'll put it away for the second time. Yeah, yikes. Terrible kick headed straight for the sideline. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, OK, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced the punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for the second half. They'll try and get the running game going with Elliott. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means how to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, when you call it out to be a half, seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip some money at the second level. Prescott's throw pulled in by Lamb. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds here. Pulling the gate of 40 on the ground. And it brings up third and five now. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Prescott from the gun on third. Flush to his right. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a nine yard gain and it keeps the drive moving.
and get him down on the other side of midfield. Just shy of midfield. Prescott. This throw left side is caught by Tolbert. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Seven yards there in the first down. can hear it. A lot of groans right now coming from this crowd. I don't know if we're picking up what's happening in the stadium or from the people who are supporting this team at home because it's coming through loud and clear to you and me. This offense, they've been stuck in neutral much of the game. And on that last play, they actually went in reverse. I think this crowd would have liked neutral, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> neutral would have strongly been preferred. They'll take anything positive at this point. On second down, Elliott. Four yards on the pick up there, and now they're left with a third and eight. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down and eight. Prescott from the gun. Finding Tolbert here over the middle. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll bring up fourth down. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. Point away. 
so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. We got a brand new ball game all even after that last touchdown, so every drive now becoming a little more critical here in the second half. Brady and the Bucks now with a first and ten at their own 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Over the middle complete. It's Evans. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Now Brady. Look at Mike Evans' way again, and he's got another one. And the result here will pick up a beat. Leaves it with two to go on second down. Very fancy on first down. A very consistent type of work ride. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy in the room like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Looking to throw again on second down. Brady gets it out quick. It's Gage on the slam. Brady to Gage for a Tampa first. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but always so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Inside and on down to Fortnite. 40 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. They've created a nice sustained drive. The play's like that. A nice scrum in there. It keeps him in the game. Let's go. Here we go. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. Across the formation, he finds Godwin. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 29-yard line. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Just outside the 10. 
One call remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL. It is on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. The offense on third down tonight. They've been good. Three for four thus far. Here it's third and three. are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Beautiful throw right there on third down, and it looked like this was going to be six points, but a nice touchdown saving tackle at the end of this. Even still, this offense is knocking on the door now with a first and goal. Field goal can get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Again, they'll throw with Brady. And he's got it! Caught in the end zone. Touchdown for Tampa Bay. The fourth touchdown pass of the game for Tom Brady. And the Bucs answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. So, Charles, I mean, this game feels like it is great. Punch, counter punch all throughout, and that touchdown breaks our tie here in the fourth quarter. You're making me want to get back in the gym and start training again into all those punches and counter punches. I also think this is where you and I start thinking to ourselves, who's going to make the play to change that, right? Who's going to get out of this little cycle that they're in right now and make the play and give their team a firm advantage? The Bucs ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. And he'll decide to not bring this one up as their drive will begin at the 25. Now Dallas gets set to take the field. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. They start on the ground with Elliott. He'll be dropped after a game of about six across the third of the Here's Prescott. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Schultz. Prescott to Schultz there for the crowd. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass character. He's very engaged on right safety valve. They do want to him every so often, but knowing mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Prescott to throw it. Left side the layup. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Second down, Prescott buying time to his left. And they're going to get this up to midfield. If they get a game changing score on this drive, it's going to be because of players like that. That one was good. Took it himself, found a way to reset the downs, and advance the ball. Continues as 
as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Prescott now from the 50. That's into the hands of Gallup over the middle. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. The design that we're seeing right there, this is what they need. To have a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. When they see openings, take their shots. Tenth carry now for Alley. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. They know that whole expression is not by night. It hasn't been a day so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy sometimes. Having to hang out all day and play it doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. On second and seven, Prescott. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. The big Vita Vea pushing his way through the line up to the center. Yeah, some real defensive resistance there, saying not so fast to a good drive. They had marched to the end zone the last time out. a big play here will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack it's third and long to throw is Prescott he's gonna let this go back of the end zone toward the back corner of the end zone but he could not get the feet down this will wind up incomplete some coaches like and now some disagreement down on that sideline the red flag is out and we're going to get a play is under review they're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. touchdown all tied up in the fourth quarter and a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here Brady gonna bring the Bucks up with a first and 10 at the 31 yard line now he'll begin with a give to Fournette to start the drive and he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 63 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. That was good, tough running right up the middle. If the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. From mid 
field. Here's Brady. And he's going to have the hook up to Gage. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Timing is so important on a round like this because he's got a lot of bout right that comes straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a counter two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. To throw again on second down. Brady. And Brady, the tight end's got it. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. So from the 36 now, first and 10. To throw is Brady. And Rudolph has it, the tight end. And he'll be brought down at the 27. And that's Dan Hill with the chains. Really good pickup by first down with the tight end there. Now brings up the second and manage. Second down, here's Fournette, and he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is for every back in the league. This is exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. Brady now on first down. Here's a quick pass. He's got Chris Godwin. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. That's a nice and run snap. What the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield to a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps. It cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. And a catch right side by Evans. And the Buccaneers are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. I'll tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people call a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. Field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. They'll try to run for it with Fournette, and he's into the end zone for the Tampa Bay touchdown. Leonard Fournette taking it in from seven yards away. And the Buccaneers have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line, because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. ready for the kickoff and here we go it's in the air and this will not be returnable it's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback from a star in college to a star in the nfl cd lamb at wide receivers he brings out this offense and i know that they've double teamed him a couple times but not a ton whatever they're doing is working he's up over 100 yards we'll see how they adjust and when they do that, they look at their defense in other places as well. How many times have we done games where we're seeing a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by...
by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Prescott on first down. Open man, right side, it's going. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30 yard line. So they get the formation. And that'll bring up a second down to just a couple. They might like go to him in the slot, he catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop it. Why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Zeke going to get it on the option. Not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 35. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. The battle in the trench is never more important than right now. This is third and inches. Prescott. And he finds his target, it's Schultz. And he will have the Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Set. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Able to find Gallup. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the third and three. That's exactly what they were looking for. If they get another game like that, they'll be right there in the range. And the tension building. First down now, but that clock rolling to throw Prescott and he can't get a throw away he's taken down Devin Wade defeating the offensive line and getting to the quarterback exactly what they were looking for they've been giving up yarders they've been letting them drive right downfield but they got a sack right there how about that for a little bit of revenge Prescott urging his guys to go quickly they need to get up and set Prescott Throw is going to be uh, incomplete. Uh, 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 he's throwing the football down. This is the line when he does it. Complete the pass. Well, the way he's throwing it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions. That means the guys going after passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. Here's Dak. He's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 21. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. Okay, there's three timeouts left, right? I think you got to use one here, don't you? Out of bat, I'd use one right here. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Now Prescott. Time late for a pull throw. It's intercepted. It's Devin Wright, the linebacker. And the Bucs have just about shown up this football game. I think this will want to ride very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And three timeouts remaining here defensively, but really... Not much reason to use them at this point, as this one is all but over. If they use the timeouts here, it's strictly for show. We got a plane to catch. They begin with a run by Fournette. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. Now a timeout called for by the defense as he'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. Following the pickup of four, here's second and 
and six. Again, it's Fournette. And some room for him there as he'll take this up to about the 15. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up. 